Hi, I'm Jenna Beauvaird. I am a graduating senior from UCSB and I'm going to be taking you guys on your summer orientation tour. So this is the DigiLab. Um, this is where you'll be taking classes such as EC5, which you'll take your freshman year, and then one EC152A, which you'll be taking either your sophomore or junior year. Um, this is a lab space we use. You can see there's a lot of computers and a lot of tools all around. Um, oscilloscopes, power supplies, um, function generators, um, and all these tools are here to help you work on your projects and get hands-on experience, which UCSB really prides themselves in doing. Um, for example, right here is an ECE5 project. It is an LED matrix cube that lights up in specific patterns and is controlled by a microcontroller and this custom board that was built by a student here. Um, and then. <laughs> This looks like something more realistic to how your labs will go sometimes. In 152A, uh, you'll be working a lot with uh, logic gates and circuit design that way because it's um, an embedded systems course. And so uh, you'll be spending a lot of time on a breadboard checking your wires. A word of advice, if you make it not look like this and a lot neater, you'll have an easier time debugging. Um, but this is definitely one of like the great hands-on experiences you get just working with physical components and tools. So this is the ECE Capstone Lab. Uh, this is where you'll be spending a lot of your time senior year. Um, this is also has a bunch of power supplies, oscilloscopes, all the tools you would need to complete and work on your project in a nice refined space. Um, and then up on the walls are actually some posters from previous capstones, and right here is a previous capstone as well. Um, this was a really awesome drone project that actually won the entire expo. Um, I think it's like prize money too, so definitely study hard so you can make a cool capstone project when you're a senior. Um, and yeah, this space is just a really nice area to work with your teammates and make that final product. All right, so we're on our way to the junior senior lab, um, just right up here. This is where, you're, where you'll be taking um, classes like 137, which is um, a very lab heavy class. You'll definitely be spending a lot of time in here, but good thing the janitors just cleaned the floors. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of stations, um, and I really spent most of my junior year in this lab. Uh, you'll be working on not only um, building circuits on a breadboard, but soldering them, analyzing them, debugging, testing, um, and like actually designing your own circuits to get certain constraints or restrictions that you want to meet. Um, there's, you'll be making power amplifiers, regular amplifiers, <laughs> uh, just a lot of different things that are really useful um, as you're going through your classes and also when you're looking for jobs. So definitely spending a lot of time in here if your circuit isn't working. One of the pros of having such a great lab space so high up is the amazing views that you get uh, right outside the window. Um, if you're ever just frustrated or need a break, you can always contemplate life right out here. So in here we have our microwave lab. Um, this is where classes like 145 will be taken if you choose to take that elective. Um, again, a really cool space. The class covers a lot of IC design and focusing on the properties of the transistor on the board. Again, a very useful class. Um, and it's really nice that we have all these separate spaces dedicated to different classes and different series so that you really have access to all the materials that you need. So here we are entering the 10 series lab. Um, this is where you'll be spending a lot of your time sophomore year. Um, you have lockers to put all of your stuff and keep your components safe and your toolboxes. Um, and then coming into here, we have all your workstations. Uh, this is gonna be, again, just another uh, lab decked out with equipment that you'll need to be working and completing your labs on time. I think the 10 series labs are actually four hours a week, which can seem like a lot, um, but it is time well spent and as long as you do your work and pay attention in class, you'll be able to finish the labs a lot sooner, especially if you have a good TA. Um, and so again, another beautiful view out the window. 
Um, and that's the 10 series lab. <laughs> Another great thing about UCSB is how involved the engineering students are outside of the classroom. Um, specifically, we have an amazing club, IEEE, which is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Um, that's over 150 lab members alone, not to mention our general student body meetings get around to be like 200 people who show up. Um, What's really cool is IEEE gives you the chance to get hands-on experience to some of the things that you'll be learning in your classroom before you even get the class so you're even more prepared for your labs and all the techniques. Uh, IEEE specifically does three guided projects each year, one software, one hardware, and one hardware software, all designed to give you um, the experience that not only you'll need in the classes but what job employers are looking for. We also do club-wide projects uh, which is a really great way to not only work together with like-minded engineers or people following their passions but also get engaged with the rest of the campus too. Just two years ago we did a collaboration with the climbing team actually where we made them a LED moon board which is like a climbing training board which was a really cool way for IEEE to reach out and help other clubs too. Uh, we have our own dedicated lab space where members can come and work on whatever they need as well as get advice from all of the officers who host office hours weekly. To give you guys an idea of all the awesome things IEEE has done, uh, there will be links to videos showing off everything we've done after this. And to all the freshmen incoming, congratulations. We're so happy to have you aboard. I know that my time at UCSB has been the most rewarding experience even if sometimes engineering is hard it has always been worth it and I've always had amazing resources professors TAs um, that have always just been there to help guide me and really uh, teach me how to be an engineer